every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Workers' Prayer. Good morning and welcome to our Workers' Prayer. Monday to Friday, your day can start in a much different mood. You can start your day uplifted and strong and determined to conquer your dreams, overcome your problems, and achieve your goals. All that you have to do is to change the way you think, because our thoughts, you know, they will become our actions. Now, the good of it is, if you follow his steps in terms of being focused on the promises of God and believing God as well on yourself, yes, that's it. Your life is going to take a different turn. Take a look. My name is Victor Mbelegi. After the death of my mother, my father left us at our own and I became angry towards him for he left us. I became an angry child and I felt rejected and I became a bully child in the community. Up until I had a fight with my colleague at work, then I realized that I need to change from being angry and a bully child. For I was fired from my working place. Then I was invited to the Universal Church and then I realized that I had to forgive myself and my dad and then I forgave him. I, I, I went to him and asked for forgiveness for I, I hated him. I had hatred towards him. Today, Victor is a changed man. Um, I'm free from anger and I'm, I don't feel, I'm not feeling rejected anymore. And I am working and at the same time I'm having, I'm having my own business and I'd like to thank God for that. Time to talk to God, have your glass of water ready. We will ask the same God who blessed Victor to bless your life as well. Have your glass of water and let us talk to him. Often we are faced with various kinds of problems in our lives and we lose the direction of how to overcome them. So why not pray and ask God's direction? Now prepare your glass of water because it is time for a moment of prayer. Let's talk with God. Father, we enter your presence in this moment, consecrating this glass of water as well your people. People who are living in distress, they are sad. They have no strength, they don't know what to do. They need to have a change in their lives. So let it be, my Lord, that you bless them, that you transform their situation. I ask you, my Father, that no matter what happens, this person, if he puts his trust in you, will have a change in his life. Bless the workers, bless their, their plans, their projects, those who are going to start on their new job this week, bless them all. In Jesus' name, amen. came to the end of one more workers' prayer, I would like to invite all of you now to take a leap of faith. Even though you, you still look at the problem, you see the situation going on there, inside your mind, you say to yourself, you know, I am, I am a conqueror. I overcame this problem already. Say that all the time. Be confident. And no matter what, God will not let you down. Trust in God and trust also in, on yourself, all right? Until tomorrow with one more Worker's Prayer. God bless you all and bye-bye. Every day, men and women in this great country wake up and set about building their dreams. They are the lifeblood of our land. They are the workers. And this is Worker's Prayer.